What's up, insiders? Today, we're going to be talking about another collaboration, the Vandy Vape Mutant. It's a collaboration between Vandy Vape, of course, and Twisted420. He's a very popular YouTube vape reviewer. Now, this is a vertical coil deck, and it's not the first time we've ever reviewed a vertical coil deck. I think we did the Tenacious one. We did the, the VLS, I believe, by Omir. But the big question is, is vertical coils, are they better than your traditional horizontal coils? Make sure you watch the whole review. Find out exactly what I think. Here's the RDA right here. Check out that airflow. Kind of neat. I'll show you more about it when we get into more detail. Beautiful, beautiful drip tip. But really is, it can be a pain to get off. Okay, I'll show it to you in a minute. On the bottom of the atomizer, you get this little plastic thing. Peel it off. You can see it says mutant. It's serialized, and it says Twisted 420 and Vandy Vape on the bottom. It does come pre-installed with the squonking pin. Pull the top cap off. The barrel actually separates, but let me show you the drip tip first. The drip tip's comfortable, but it's a little bit of a pain in the neck to get off because of the way it's tapered and how flush it sits. It is a goon-style 810 drip tip, all right? I do like it. It's kind of got like that bullet type of shape to it. It's comfortable, but I would have rather something a little taller with less of a taper. Now you can see you do have a two-piece barrel section here. Let me show you. See that? And you see all those different air flows right there. Every time you want to adjust the airflow, you kind of have to pull this part off, place it in front of the coil, and then readjust your airflow. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass, and I have to admit, there's not much difference between all of these different airflows. I mean, the range is not what it looks like on the barrel. They're all pretty much, you know, really close to each other. They really are. Got a little bit of mutant branding over there, okay? The O-rings on this thing are really tight, especially the ones on the base. In fact, on my black one, I actually had to get rid of the top O-ring on the base because it actually swelled up and I couldn't get the top cap on. So here you have this big square airflow hole right here, right? And what you do is... You know, you find the airflow that you like, right? Whichever one you feel is best for you. You adjust it, and then you line it up with your deck right here. You pop it on, and you make sure it's in front of your coil. It's got a locking barrel system. For each slot, it actually locks in front of the coil for each slot. So, yeah, you can change the airflow, but the problem is when you change this, you know, you're... It's not in front of your coil anymore. So you, so what you have to do is, you know, you gotta, you gotta kind of line things up. You know, you gotta look at it, line things up, and then slide your barrel onto the appropriate airflow that you selected. So now let's look at the deck because the deck is really where this thing is at. All right, it it almost reminds me of that deck that came with the Pulse. It it's almost like they took that X deck and they, you know. They banged out the bottom and top pieces and split the X this way, right? In order to be able to lay your coils in there and do a vertical build. Now, what you're going to notice here is, here is where your juice is going to squonk from. And then on the bottom, I don't know if you can see it right there, there's a return valve as well. So that's kind of neat. I mean, they did that on the mod that came with the pulse as well. So, you know, this isn't strange for Vandy Vape. To do something that squonks from the top and then returns on the bottom. Okay. Uh, just a nice, nice job. It really is. Plenty of room in that deck. And this is a vertical build only deck. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up those post holes. It's a 1.5 driver that you need. All right. Just go around the, all the different post holes, all four. Open them up just like that. Now once you're all opened up, what you want to do... You want to take your coils and you just want to drop them in there just like that. I mean, it's that easy. It really is. Look, beautiful, right? So now once you got them dropped in there, kind of center them like that, right? Hold it in place and then just tighten down your leads. Same thing on the bottom on the other side. Tighten everything up. By the way, the deck screws are really, really nice. And you see, that's how your coil should look, just like that. And we'll play around with placement in a little bit. 
but that's how it should look. That's how easy it is to build. I mean, it's ridiculous. Again, I'll show it to you again. Boom. Right there. That's it. Put your finger on that coil. Get your driver in there. Tighten it up. Same thing on the other side. Boom. That's it, baby. You're built. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our flush cutters and we're just going to get it right up as close as we can. Snip. Snip. Same process on the other side. Get it right up against there. Snip. Snip. And now that's what your deck should look like. Something like that. What you might want to do is you want to get your coiling jig in there a little bit and just pull them out a little bit. You know, you don't want them too close to, too close to that deck. You just pull them out, something like that, right? And that's it. I mean, you now you're totally built. Look at it. It's just beautiful. Very, very easy to build. Definitely great for a newbie. Now what we do is we take our 521 tab plus and we burn them in. Shout out to the coil master. Just give them a easy dry fire. Let me tilt it this way so you can see it. If we got some hot spots, we just scrape them out. Just like that. We'll look on the other side. Same thing. Got a few hot spots. Scrape them right out. Now we're burning evenly from the inside out, which is exactly what you want. And now we are ohming out at 0.21, which is exactly where you want to be. Each coil was 0.39, so we're at about half when you run two coils. Now what you want to do is you want to take your cotton strip, right? Give it a nice little twist, just like that. Make it nice and pointy. Make sure your coil master is shut off. And then just take your wick and feed it right through, just like that. Once you got it peeking out like that, kind of grab it with your tweezers and give it a pull through, just like so. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Push it through just like that, grab it with your tweezers, and pull. And there you go. Now, I've seen people with an aglet one, like do a bridge over the top where you have one piece of cotton and you just bridge it over the top. I tried it that way. I haven't noticed much of a difference. What I like to do is I like to take it. I like to cuff the cotton right around there, right? Maybe even a little shorter. Just get it right up, right by that hole. Right there, just like that. Give it a little trim. Make sure you're not covering that squonk hole. And make sure you got enough up there so it can catch some juice, okay? And then what you do on the bottom here is you cut it right by the bottom O-ring. Right there, just like that. Same thing on the other side. Measure it up against the bottom O-ring. And cut. Now, you take your wick, tuck it in, make sure it hits the bottom of that deck. Same thing on the other side, tuck it right in there. You may want to fluff this out a little bit, maybe even pull it up a little bit like that. And that's it. That's what your deck should look like, just like that. So now you take your barrel section, pick the airflow that you want, right? We're picking this one. You can see it's in front of that coil, right? And now you just take your airflow and you put it in front of the airflow holes that you picked. Put your drip tip back on and now you're ready to start squonking. Before we go back on top, I just want to give you a look at the black one. This is the one I've been using on my Lost Vape drone. I kind of like the black and the way the stainless steel shows that way. So you can see what airflow you're running. It's no big deal on the stainless steel one. You can still see it as well. But I like the contrast on the black one. I've definitely been digging the black one. Inside the packaging, you get a QC certificate. You get a spare parts bag with some spare deck screws. A hex key. A traditional 510 pin. And a, another hex key with some spare O-rings and a 510 drip tip adapter. You also get these triple fused Clapton coils made out of NI-80. They ohm out at 0.39. Rather nice coils and they're wrapped the proper way for this deck. Let's get into the cons and pros for the Vandy Vape Mutant. First con's gonna be, I'm not a fan of that two piece top cap. Mm -hmm. I just don't like it. And this is going to go into my other con in a second. But I'm just not a fan of that two-piece design, man. I think it could have been a much cleaner design had they spent more time on it. And that leads me into the other con. Because of that two-piece top cap, it, it's, a, it's a pain in the ass to adjust the airflow mm. on it. It really is. I mean, you know, you got to take the top cap off. You got to look at what airflow you want. You got to adjust it. 
Then you got to line it up and put it back on. I mean, why couldn't they make that whole thing just spin around? I, I don't understand why they didn't do that. It just seems like they didn't put a lot of thought into it. Another thing I'm not crazy about is I'm not crazy about the bullet style drip tip. Yes, it is comfortable, but it's not my type of drip tip. It, you kind of get like bacon lips with it, man. You gotta, you gotta, it's just not, I don't know, man. I would have rather the taller, you know, different style drip tip. I don't like, I don't like the way it narrows down towards the top. Not my style. Very surprised that Vandy Vape only put one drip tip. That's another con. Vandy Vape's known for putting multiple drip tips in their, in their stuff. You know, I kind of noticed that a lot of times when you get a review of product, you don't get some of the extras that you normally get. I, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I mean, does it really cost that much more to work with a reviewer? You can't put the extras in there. It's kind of annoying sometimes. But that's it on the cons. Let's move on to the pros. First pro is going to be you do have plenty of different choices of airflows. I don't notice much of a difference between all of them, but you do have the options there. You know, that's going to be subjective to you. I, I don't see much of a difference between all the airflows. They all vape relatively the same to me, but I got to point it out as a pro because they did give you different airflows. You saw it down low, man. It's super, super easy to build on. Probably a great deck for a beginner to just drop their coils in there. And, you know, maybe you got to learn a little bit how to wick it, but not much. I mean, it's an easy deck to use. So I got to chalk that up as a pro. The deck is kind of innovative, right? And when I first looked at it, it reminded me of their Pulse X. It almost looks like they cut the X like in half and pulled the deck out. I really should have showed it down low to explain what I was saying. But the Pulse X also had that top squonking and the bottom return. So it's not the first time we've seen Vandy Vape do this. It's an innovative type of deck. I do like that, that they're thinking a little bit out of the box and they're going with a top squonka with a bottom return. Nice job on that. Like I said, not the first time they've done it, but you know, I do like it on this RDA. It's a nice, it, it works well with the actual deck. The juice well's not bad. You know, it, it kind of looks shallow when the top cap is off, but once you add that top cap on there, you do have a decent sized juice well, so we'll give them a pro for that. I get pretty decent flavor in clouds. It's not, oh my God, flavor in clouds, but I get very good flavor in clouds. I mean, right now I got a 0.12 ohm build in there. I got it on the drone at 125 watts. Let me show you what we're working with here. Some nice cloudage. I'm getting good flavor. You know, not like fully saturated, full-on flavor, but very good flavor. I think the clouds are fine. I mean, it is what it is. It's a good RDA, probably a little better than average when it comes to flavor and clouds. And the last thing I'll give them on the pro side is even though there's not much of a difference between the airflow settings, all the airflow settings are smooth. I don't get any turbulence. I do like that. It does have smooth airflow. So let's get back to our original question, insiders. Are vertical coils better than horizontal coils? You know, which one do you think is best? Are they better for flavor? I mean, I got to be real here. This is not the first vertical coil deck I built on or used. Um, it's not... I, I have yet to find a, a vertical coil atomizer that's going to make me put away my horizontal coil atomizers. I, I haven't found one yet. I, do, I you know, I think it's a, it's a nice way to build. It's a different way to build. It's for people who like to tinker, who like things different. But is it better on average than a horizontal bottom airflow or side airflow RDA? In general, I don't think so. Let's go over some of the specs on the Vandy Vape Mutant RDA. It is 25 millimeters in diameter. It is 26 millimeters tall and it weighs in at 105 grams. It has a 1.2 ml deep juice well. It squonks from the top with a bottom return. It's available in stainless steel, black, gunmetal, and rainbow. I hope you insiders didn't go anywhere because Vandy Vape was kind enough to send me a black and stainless steel mutant RDA. So we're going to be doing a little bit of a giveaway. Yeah, it's going to happen over on our Facebook page. Let me tell you the rules. 
You got to be a vaping age in the state that you reside in, and you got to be able to prove it. All right? You head on over to our Facebook group, make a comment on the post about this RDA, the official review post. Continental United States only, $8 shipping is on you. I'll message you, I'll message the winner via Facebook, via the group, and then we'll sort out all the details after that. So again, like, subscribe, join over on our Facebook group, and make sure you're of legal vaping age in the state you reside in, continental United States only, $8 shipping is on you, good luck to everyone. And that's it, insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces. What's up, insiders? Deuces Jack with VapingInsider.com. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 best vape tanks on the market. 